Hi, welcome back. My name's Ray. And I'm Matt. We're the owners of Cars R Us. We'd like to welcome you back for our third YouTube video. Yeah, but before we get started, well, we, we had a guest last week and he decided to cancel. Well, you put Mitchie in charge of it. He's three? It's almost. Okay, anyway. <laughs> no, he'll be four. He, just, he doesn't <laughs> sleep more than two hours consecutively. That, just because he's almost one there. But So our special guest is built by my three-year-old and added on... Uh, uh, sir, skate a lot. That's what he would probably call him because Mitchie is very simplistic. That was added so. by me. Oh, that was. You, you added the other three year old. Kid. <laughs> this kid doesn't even work. Okay. So, yeah, we're ready for our video here. All right, today's topic is what are you guys afraid of? You want to go first on this one? Sure. Listen, I mean, this is so simple for me. Oh, I'm no. literally only afraid. Don't say your wife. Not. Oh, well. We know we, you are. We're not. Just say. When I say what two things I'm afraid of, we... Okay. I'm afraid of two things in okay, the whole that's world. that's better. All right. I'm afraid of guns. Okay. And probably the main reason I'm afraid of guns is because of reason number one I'm afraid of. I am afraid of stupid people. Mostly stupid people with guns because if they're both, you're in a lot of trouble. That and probably hurts, doesn't it? Hopefully my wife doesn't have a gun. I think she might. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you stupid, sweetheart. <laughs> oh. I think you were. <laughs> How about you? What are you when you get back there? See, well, that's it. I mean, literally, that is it. Well, stupid see, people I, and guns. I, for for me, I, I think it's. I just when I think of things you're afraid of, I think of animals or like things like critters, that. critter stuff. Ugh. And. The movie Arachnophobia no, killed me, it's man. Still like, a spider I, thing. Yeah, dude, the spider. What? You see the size of those things in that? Man, them damn things. That spider's this. I mean, that's just not. No, that is and, not. And normal. I talked to a buddy that lives out in California, and he said the spiders are yeah, very. Now, big. what about snakes, though? I mean, because if I don't like, spiders, I do not like snakes. I've no. touched a gardener snake once, and I didn't like it. Uh, oh yeah, good. I ran with my kids pick them up, and then they hand them to me, and uh, it doesn't work. Oh yeah, but but I don't mess with them. But we don't have rattlesnakes or anything. But uh, I know in California when I visited him, my buddy, he had a, a black widow nest in the front yard. Oops. Oh, that's uh, funny. in the sprinkler. He went to turn on the sprinkler. There's a black widow nest. Like I'm moving, man. Okay. That's why I don't live in California, right? I mean. I do like Something the 40 below that. winners here, but uh, well, I you know, mean, that's that, that helps me. Killing the black widows. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll deal with the 40 below over that black widow. I'm just saying. So, I mean, that, that's my biggest fear. But uh, I, I got a couple other. Just, I just think the, uh, you know, the, the, the fear of like, I, I guess it's kind of a fear of more than being afraid. But uh, drowning, man, that, that scares me. Like, cause remember, I don't know if you were there. It was I was swimming one time. I hadn't swam in years, uh, two years probably, and I was like ten, and I jumped in, and I yeah, I forgot how to swim off the diving board. That was not cool. That that kind of scared you me. You forgot actually. how to swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could happen. I don't know how it happened. My wife does it all the time. She says she's not a good swimmer. So I push her under and yeah, see if it see, works. See, I, you know, test the, I, test the I knowledge. Guess, you know? I guess I lost that fear of of death. I mean, I've I've had... Oh, yeah, you got seven lives. Well, and I have had oh. near... I feel I've had near incidences with death where I probably should have died doing stupid stuff. So, I mean, yeah. the fact that I didn't die has given me the idea yeah, that, that maybe I'm just t t too damn cranky or... or uh, too mean or yeah you I mean, are, there's probably some family, reason so. that i just can't die so well, i i do i have to take care of that well i should be okay do you have do we have insurance on you <laughs> business how much is that oh wait and no. i'll have to set that up some people have the fear of public speaking oh uh, sure you know what they say that's like what the number one fear over death how is public speaking the number one fear over that you, you know my first public speaking I, as I said before in the first episode, I, I, I taught high school for six years, uh, and my first experience of student teaching, this was the first big one, and, and we have a concert uh, of hundreds of people, probably a thousand people in the auditorium, and the student teacher introduces me, uh, Mr. Raucus uh, is our student teacher, and he says, hey, why don't you come out and say a couple words here? Oh, good. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's my I go. first experience. I'm like, here I go. And, and, and I'm off stage at this time. He's like, I already introduced you. I'm like, yeah. uh, yeah, that was I'm Mr. Uh, I'm I taught 22. your kids. <laughs> I taught your kids absolutely nothing. Thank you. I have no hair. 
<laughs> Wait. No, I had a little hair back. Oh, okay. That was 23, dummy. You were 22 when you lost it. Which was like, what, 40, 42 years ago, is that? Well, it was a little while ago. Because you're about my wife's age? Oh, no, no. Don't watch that again, honey. See ya. A lot of other people fear the unknown. See, that's very common. The same reason they fear death, right? Unknown. They they don't yeah, know they what's the worst. next, right? So, See? Huh? And, and, and they really are fearing not living because they don't know what death is, of course. That's, so so that, you're really fearing not living, which a lot of the people that fear not living are miserable in life anyway, which is sort of weird. That's <laughs> why they need to bring their car. I have a couple relatives that. like that. <laughs> if they bring their car in, they'll be less Not the relatives, though. No, we don't no, want to fix their <laughs> to let them keep their car. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, we'll talk about the well, trips I mean, with relatives I, I on have, the next I episode. I have done a I few think, free here. car repairs for a couple of relatives. Well, that's because they don't pay us. It's not because we want to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. They think because you own a business, you're a millionaire. I mean, it doesn't give you a whole lot of money. We're the last ones to get paid, I'll tell you that much. So, you just, you know, when you open your own business, you'll know. But anyway, so we're going to come back next time with our fourth episode, and we'll have another good special guest for you. Signing out here from Cars and this Us. one's not going to be brought to you by Mitchie. Oh. I'm not leaving him in charge again.